Sometimes I think it's a trick 
I'm not sure if it's from Ron Green. You know, I read so many books about how to cope with, with uh, stage anxiety. I forget which tips I got from which books. Um, but a good trick is to give the, I think it's from Don Green, this book I mentioned at the beginning, Auditions, etc. And he said, okay, these, kind of thoughts, they will happen. These negative thoughts, give them, give this uh, name, the person who's saying this, so your kind of alter ego, I said you are your worst enemy because your text was coming at you so loud. So can you give a name for the person with these negative thoughts? You don't have to tell them. Okay. <laughs> But for you, maybe it's, you know, maybe this is a tip can help everyone. Um, in, I think in the Don Green book, he says that the person with this negative test is called Bob. And Bob, go away. I don't have time for this now. Okay? So you, you are taking away these bad texts. It's not you, Sarah, with the bad text, but it's Bob. Okay, Bob, I talk to you later. Now I'm busy. <laughs> To take it a step further, I was, I think, once in a, in a, a session about uh, stage performance, and they said, give this text, this is a little duck sitting on your shoulder with this bad text. And mm. I didn't show you practiced enough, didn't you get enough sleep, you think should have had the coffee this morning, <laughs> Bob is around thinking, and this is a little duck on your, and you say, the duck. <laughs> <laughs> so every bar rest, you have... Stop it. Bob, I'll speak to you later. Now I'm busy. This is a way of, because I think we all have this kind of inner dialogue, right? And um, this can really get in, in our way. It's, I mean, I, I saw it happening. And you started a little nervous, okay, but it kind of got worse and worse and worse. And we are just thinking, yeah, go, go, Sarah, enjoy. Share your music with us. But your thoughts were completely in the negative way. So you can say, Bob, let's talk later, or the duck. We <laughs> and you can visualize it, really. You can take it away from you. Of course, we can do some physical things. So the first breath, yesterday I think I talked about, take one breath. We were waiting a long time. Can, Tim, can we start the lesson already? Can we start the lesson already? This is a time you need to go into your bubble. And doing some breathing exercises, whatever you find most helpful. But when I see a big solo coming up in the orchestra, yesterday I said, you cannot be nervous if you're really blowing out. Try it, because you have to play again in a minute. <laughs> so I'm doing, I'm talking so that you can find yourself again. Your real self. You didn't hear your real self, no? And then of course the first breath that you take, you have a long time. Steady with your breath. Okay, so we, we have the mental things we can be doing. We talked also about Don Green's idea of having, okay, what is the atmosphere of this music? What do we want them to be feeling? Oh, this cantabile that secretly, of course, we all want to be a singer, right? We all want to be singing. And but somehow before we start thinking, playing this piece, like, you know, I want to persuade them that the flute is even better than singing. Or I want to share this beautiful piece. I guess you think it's a beautiful piece. You chose it. <laughs> Thank you for not choosing it. Also <laughs> beautiful piece. <laughs> so, um, so 
we have the mental things we can do, but we can also really the physical things we can do. Making sure we are really grounded, really bringing ourselves to the breath. So we just start immediately. Do it one more time, really. Of course. <laughs> because in the audition, there's only one time to do it, and I won't be there in the audition to be. <laughs> distracting you from how terrified you are, so you have to do it yourself. You can do it yourself. Let's do it one more time. Begin. about things when I'm playing. What things? The other things. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. You know, sometimes I even... Like, like, for yeah. example, when there is like uh, some um, more difficult play, mm -hmm. I start to think like, oh my God, it's coming, it's coming, and uh, yeah, how yeah, am yeah, I going yeah. to play it? And yeah. well, yeah. it's... Uh, yeah. 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 No, I completely understand. And that's, you know, these... these um, we have two very fragile moments right at the beginning of a piece. So one is the, the first time we have piano. So we need, and that's when I felt that the shaking was started and you're thinking, oh my God. Um, and then the other one is the delicatement. Um, it is also on a B flat. So let's do, let's make friends with your most feared moments. When you can do the scary things, then the rest is easier. So let's try the softest B flat in the low register. When you can play this soft, then to play it a little louder, it's easier. Yeah? So what, what, what can we do, what messages can we send to our body to help us in this moment? Where do you feel the most, uh, uh, where do you lose the contact? Right here. Here, right? So, and luckily it's a note that's likely to be too flat. So why don't we, we do one more time, the softest B flat you can manage, and just think of the contact point here, and the, it's going in this direction. you just played. So fast air.
Um, so we were talking yesterday in Janka's <coughs> class about running before you uh, uh, to simulate. Um, I won't make you run up and down the stairs. <laughs> when I was studying with Marion, he used to make us um, hold the flute like this and do ten squats, <laughs> <laughs> and then and then start this B flat. So I'm going to make you do that. <laughs> do you go to the gym? No. <laughs> ten. See how as many as you as, as many as you can do, and then one more. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you need some. <laughs> Is someone counting? <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twelve, and thirteen. <laughs> Before you get your heart rate down, <laughs> otherwise you have to do more squats, let's do a high one, fast one. And now your heart rate is higher from the squats and from the nervous situation. So <laughs> when you can do it here, you can do it anywhere, right? Um, so let's try from the beginning. And those cues, if, if we feel that you're losing contact, we're going to sh shout. Okay? So contact. It doesn't matter. We don't have to say the same thing. If we, if we notice, if we feel anything, or if you're feeling, help me, look at them, and they will shout encouraging things. Okay? Beginning, beginning. <laughs> Go away, 
The good news is that with experience, you will find a way to help you to, to use, not only to live with it, but to use it to your advantage. Okay, good. Feeling a bit better? All right. <laughs> um, by the way, it, uh, quite a danger, um, a good m motto to have while you're playing, if you notice your thoughts going, oh my God, that didn't go very well, oh my God, da -da -da -da, and oh, that was quite well, oh, thank God I got through that part. Don't judge. Don't judge. The number of times I can't tell you that I played, for example, the first two, two notes, I think, oh, not too bad, not too bad. I played those two notes much worse in my life. That's okay. And then the next two, I break. Because I'm thinking, what happened? I cannot do anything about what happened. But I can do something about what's coming up. So don't judge is quite is a, is something that I if I notice that my thoughts are kind of oh that was good that was bad think about the next note you have to play yeah but I think like I I am saying th those things to myself but I don't trust them and that's the problem like what don't you trust I don't trust those um, like I, the I, positive things or how yeah. can I say no like you have to believe in that yeah <laughs> that it was yeah. good. But you believe you, you love playing the flute. Ah. You, blo you, you believe that you love the piece. Yeah? That's enough. So this is enough. <laughs> okay. So have a stronger story. If, if the negative thoughts are really so loud, your positive thoughts have to be even louder, even stronger. That's why I suggest writing, writing key words that might help you on your music, sort of air or joy or mm -hmm. um, share. This is a good one for me because we can get very in our own bubble like oh my god i wish i wasn't here <laughs> and but we're here you want to be a flute player right you want to be a performer you want to share your music so share is quite a good one think of them they don't want you to be nervous <laughs> yeah it's like we were doing, talking about with macho that when when you're standing there <laughs> it's not comfortable for the audience. Mm. Also not for for you, right? <laughs> so maybe you need to find different messages, stronger messages, things that you cannot deny. You love the flute, you love the piece, you're happy to share your music. You believe all those, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so let's do one last time beginning. Um, um, these tenuto markings, can, can we feel this more like a violin bowing? So I think Enesco is a violinist, um, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Doubt it for a moment. Um, so I think that this is a way of saying full sound but articulated. Can you just play with this? Just say once. Yeah, the air doesn't stop. But you're disturbing the air stream each time. Then you keep the air going mm -hmm. so like you're keeping the bow moving it's a shame that patrick is not here to give sometimes it would be really useful to have <laughs> violin patrick right yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then you have to put up with my air violin <laughs> something like that mm -hmm. and then instead of a down bow you're <laughs> Something. A little surprising, no? The, the, the D. Let's do last time beginning.
I, I want to take your thoughts away from all the things. Oh my God, now I've got to do it. You know, so I'm sh that's why I'm shouting. Mm -hmm. Trying to help. This moment, the most relaxed playing we do is the loud playing. Yeah? Sometimes we just need to remind ourselves of that. So this is a moment where ah, you can think, this is easy. Mm -hmm. This is an easy bar. Switch off the, this is a moment where we can go, <laughs> go away. Ah, I made it to line three. Yes, <laughs> mini victory. But I think it's really important to plan also moments where you can really relax. That's why I, um, we talked a few times in the slow movement of Mozart, when we have these long rests. Okay, this is a moment where we can just relax, put the flute down, find our ground again. Plan these moments. For, exa for example, I take it a step further in a Mahler symphony. Who's played a Mahler symphony? Which one? Any Mahler symphony. You know, it's like an emotional roller coaster. And I think sometimes when we're playing in the orchestra, um, we have to acknowledge the emotion we are feeling, but kind of park it and not get too involved in it because we have a job to do, which is the next entry. If we allow ourselves to get completely <gasps> caught up in all the, the emotion, it can be, maybe it can detract from what we have to do, our job playing whatever flute part we are playing. So when I'm playing a Mahler symphony with the orchestra, I don't think I ever told anyone mm -hmm. this, but when I'm playing a Mahler symphony, there are moments when I say, okay, here I can listen and I can be involved and I can feel everything. And there are other moments when I have the same, as a musician, as a listener, I have the same feeling, but I cannot allow myself to go with it. I have to say, okay, 27, two, three, four. 28, 2, 3, 4. And I have to focus on what I have to do. And I think that having a kind of road map for yourself, mo key moments where you have words to help you, like air or contact or lips or up or something. In the same way, you can have moments like this bar, I would suggest is something like relax or open or alleluia or I don't know <laughs> having something that's gonna <sighs> connect you to the joy that you feel playing the flute yeah so as well as having helpful moments for the scary parts also have try and find key moments where you can really relax and enjoy this would be one I would suggest um, shall we start directly from piano Delicatement, delicatement. I'm going to push you now because I've heard you playing a more beautiful, more gentle. Here and there. Repeated notes, even if you don't need to breathe now. We need to understand mm. that there is a repetition and dadalum, bum, yadalum, bum. It's not a triplet, just playing this yadalum, bum. Yadalum, yadalum. Yes, it's about the A flat, not about the F. Mm. Lord, mm. Yeah, same place. attention to. After we've taken a breath, any of us, the danger is that the next note doesn't sound as beautiful. 
because we have a lot of air, suddenly, bah! So keep the, the control on the note after you've just taken a breath. I would suggest in this style of music, more vibrato, so that the air is moving and it's, it's a little uh, more cared for. So every note, every note, first note after a breath, it's kind of quite a consistent thing that it comes with a little force and no vibrato. And I think it, it kills the atmosphere a little bit. So let's go, we'll start the same place. Even if you don't breathe, please give me more definition between mm -hmm. the B flat and I'll let you play, I'll stop talking and talking to you. as you make the crescendo because it's really too sharp. for the next E flat legato as well. Yeah, top G in the left hand, and then two and four and little finger in the right hand. Yeah, and it's got that resistance which will help with the that feeling. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
Good. So based on harmonics, like yesterday we were talking about a lot of fingerings in the mm -hmm. third octave we can use from trill. This is from harmonics is the other way to find other fingerings. Good. Um, let's start from this place. Um, and we're just going to do from here and, and we can do a little bit of the last movement. Um, I just want you to think about these. There are lots of moments where there are lots of 16th notes. For example, in the beginning. And I think that this shouldn't sound too organized. I think these are kind of swirls, you know, when you think, when you think about um, Enesco writing this 1904 in Paris, and it's all Art Nouveau, um, do I mean Art Nouveau? Yes, all the, the swirls, everything growing from, um, from plant fig, um, shapes, mm -hmm. women curves, so this sort of, and all these 16th notes, shouldn't sound too organized. Four beats in the bar, four beats in four notes in every beat. Tilt it a little bit. So see if we can find a freedom within the we were talking about yesterday in the slow movement of Mozart with the, the 30 second notes. If the framework is strong, then there's a little flexibility in between. Flexibility is a good word for that. So we just go from up to the trill. on the piano on the second beat you're on so the G piano If you can't get it more even, maybe practicing, maybe that would help. Um, so I would take this. So, so the first, first two bars, I think maybe mezzo forte. Second two bars, a little softer. Then back to mezzo forte, and then a little softer. Now, the reason I stopped was nothing to do with that. Repetition. I've been talking about it all week. When there's a repetition, when there's a repetition, when there's a repetition, use it. Mm. So, but take out the 16th upbeat. 
Da-da-da-da-da-da. Da-da-da-da-da. 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 Da-da-da-da